Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, I have an honor to, to chair the 47th session for, so for the Commission of the Social Development this year. Uh, I'll take you back to the Copenhagen in 1995. So at the World Summit for the Social Development, governments agreed there were three major dimensions of social development they, they should all focus on, and that was poverty eradication, full employment, and social integration. Social integration is a process of building the values, relations, and institutions that are needed to build a society for all, where all, regardless of their attributes, truly belong, and their rights and responsibilities are recognized and valued. The current session of the Commission for Social Development aims at the building consensus on social integration as a target and laying ground for concrete policies to be recommended to governments at the next policy session. The outcome of this session should also provide input to this year's substantive session of the Economic and Social Council and next year's MDG review, as well as to the General Assembly's upcoming conference on the world financial and economic crisis and its impact on development. Social integration is important because it creates an enabling environment to pursue and achieve internationally agreed development goals. Now, faced with the global financial and economic crisis, we already have indications of growing number of working poor, rising unemployment, and growing social unrest. Those impacts of the current crisis are expected only to get worse. They undermine social cohesion and threaten social stability. Unless swift action is taken, the current global crisis PTA finance, food or climate related, will have an adverse impact, particularly on the most vulnerable, most vulnerable people in our societies. So we must not allow such a marginalization. There have been also positive developments during the past years, in particular in the field of international cooperation and the normative framework. First of all, we have established the Global Forum on Migration and Development, which brings together governments to discuss the different aspects of migration. And recent normative developments have had a positive impact on social integration agenda. They include the adoption of the Declaration of the Protection and Promotion of the Rights of the Indigenous Peoples, the entry into force of the Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities, and most recently, the adoption of the optional protocol to the International Covenant on Economic, Social and Cultural Rights. We strongly feel that it's only through cooperation with civil society that governments can make real progress in eradicating discrimination and injustice and paving the way for true participation. We need a multi-stakeholder approach that also incorporates the private sector and non-governmental organizations. I appreciate very much the active participation we have by civil society representatives. They already started their own social forum yesterday. I thank you.